In the past, modern agriculture has encouraged us to grow more and turn our produce into a commodity. When you have children raise a family, you perhaps question sort of some of the, the motives that you had. And, and actually, when you realise there is a different way of producing food that is, is beneficial to everybody, it's, uh, it's a real good feel-good factor. My name is James Evans. I farm here at Partridge Farm and we farm beef, sheep and some arable crops. We're an organic farm, we don't use any fertiliser or pesticides uh, and we try and do things as naturally as possible and feed the animals off 100% grass and you know just, just work with nature really so we're, we're producing food from this farm that works in harmony with nature. A lot of our time is spent checking the animals, going around them, making sure they're okay, making sure they've got feed and water, and uh, yeah, just generally check on their well-being. The way that we're grazing our animals is actually enhancing our soils and enhancing the environment. We've got an abundance of butterflies and bees and insects on the farm, and then because of that, we've got a lot more bird life, and you know, the, the farm is really flourishing. The way we're trying to achieve that really is through growing sort of mixed species grasses, herbal lays as they're called. These grasses uh, are eaten by the animals. They are obviously moved on daily, which replicates what nature did thousands of years ago. Obviously not with um, the predators that move the animals on, but we're using electric fences to replicate that. But what that's doing, it's allowing the, the soil to recover, it's allowing the plants to recover as well. We're increasing the organic matter and improving the biology in the soil all the time. And then what that's doing is capturing carbon, CO2 out of our atmosphere and actually putting it back into the soil where it came from. So as a, as a feel good factor as what farmers do, we actually feel that we are, you know, part of the, the solution to climate change. Coming from a farming background is, isn't, you know, a prerequisite for, for working on a farm. And some of the best farmers are, are people that have, have never been brought up on a farm. So I'd encourage anyone to apply or go to an agricultural college or, or do anything like that because there's, there's lots of pathways in. I mean, be, being out and about just in, in the weather on your beautiful farm um, on a lovely sunny day, I, you know, there isn't many jobs that will beat that. On a cold, snowy, wet, rainy day, yeah, there's plenty of jobs which will, uh, which will beat farming. But every day is different, you know, that's, uh, that's it's definitely full of surprises. I think being a farmer, really, if I could describe it in three words, I mean, it, it's highly rewarding, uh, it, it's hard work, but, you know, the, the job satisfaction at the end of it is absolutely, is huge.